a lot of questions are coming in that why did you invest in Mimic or become the board member of Mimic? What, what interested you there? Uh, if you can comment on that. They oh, sure, that sure. You would, yeah. Uh, yeah. So uh, a couple of things. Um, first of all, uh, the introduction was through a friend. Uh, I've invested uh, in the technology space with him for, for many years. Uh, and so I knew from an integrity point of view uh, that you know, we had a really good uh, starting uh, point. And then when I learned more about your technology and your passion for it and your desire to help people understand how profound uh, the, these, cha these changes are going to be as we move to the edge and bring AI into the equation more and more, um, I realized you were, uh, you had the same issue in terms of your story as I did with mine in the early days. And that's what that what was, you know, this is, this is not exact, but just to give you a sense of what we were trying to do, we were trying to say, you know, those benchmarks could cause you trouble. Uh, mm -hmm. And if you keep investing in them, uh, you will be sorry in the next five to 10 years, we believe. Certainly sorry mm -hmm. relative to what we're providing with our portfolios, what we compliance would say, what we believe we are right. providing with our strategies. And we, we had, because, because the, whether it was institutions or uh, wirehouses, RIAs, they couldn't check all the normal boxes. Again, the boxes are based on the old world. Uh, they were having trouble putting us anywhere. Until, mm -hmm. until, you know, we had our success with first Bitcoin and then Tesla. Then they started, then they started paying attention. I think you're at that point. You're, you are positioning yourself in the equivalent of the uh, aha moments for people. For us, it was Bitcoin and Tesla. I don't know what the aha moment is uh, for Mimic, uh, I think it could be pretty big when you think about autonomous and safety and security, um, not wanting to go to the, to the cloud if uh, you're in an autonomous vehicle that is in some danger, uh, you, don't, you, want, you want that information right at the edge. Or we were talking earlier, you have a baby and you're on the other wing of the house. You need mm -hmm. an instant. You don't need a cloud uh, giving you uh, latent signals. So, you know, I think I think you're onto something very big. Uh, I think you've got an uh, an elegant solution, uh, which means that enterprises who have developers and and programmers in inside them. Uh, will be able to move their computing power to the edge with maybe a week's worth of work because of the solution mm -hmm. you provide instead of a year's worth of trying to do it themselves. And it's a, I'd liken it to uh, Twilio. Uh, no one would build a message app right now. Twilio has done that, right? Uh, and, and I would say something similar is evolving in your world. Uh, and I remember I felt the same about Twilio when I first heard it. I thought, oh, that's a big idea. And I feel the same way about Mimic. Oh, wonderful. So I think, yeah, thank, thank you for that comment. And uh, I think the aha moment is when people realize that slides need to communicate. So it's no longer about Internet of Things. It's about right. uh, Internet of Systems, the take a slide.